Welcome everyone. This is part two of Windows GSM installer. This time we're going to actually install a server with and without a plugin. What you'll do is you'll the first thing is of course what server do you want? So back on Windows GSM page, we're going to go to plugins. And let's say we want to install uh, Enshrouded. So we'll just click on the plugin. It'll go to GitHub. All of them do. You'll go to the green code button and download the zip. Do not unzip the zip. Go back to Windows GSM. Now from this page, this is just the home screen. You're going to go to the little puzzle piece. We're going to import a plugin. Go to where you downloaded it. Oh, goodness gracious. Here we go. Okay, downloads. Okay, so our plugin. We're going to open it. And then we're going to import. Well, there it goes. It just took a second. If it doesn't show up in the list, it should show up automatically. If it doesn't, you can reload plugin. It may show it twice in that case, especially if you're not patient. It takes a second. It didn't load it twice. It's just a display issue, so don't worry about it. If you're really worried about it, you can close and reopen the browser. But you'll also see, because what the plugin does, and this leads to part two, you may not need a plugin. The plugin is a set of instructions for Windows GSM to install a server. And it's instructions needed if the server isn't already built into Windows GSM. So in this case, we're going to look at two things. If you hit servers and install server, now the instructions are going to be in here under enshrouded. See how it says enshrouded.cs? That tells you there's a plugin. If you wanted to, for example, install 7 Days to Die, you don't need to do the plugin because it's built into Windows GSM. So I recommend just checking this list first. If you find your game, then you just click it. So in this case, let's see. Let's do... Well, let's just go back to Enshrouded. So what you'll do is you'll click Enshrouded, give it a name. And then install. Now what that does is, in this case, is this those that plugin instructions told it, okay, go to Steam, get everything you need, download it, install it, and then once Steam does that, then it'll actually install the server. So it's going to take a good while, depending on your internet connection, to go get all the files. Depends on obviously the server size and all that. And we'll pick this up after that's complete. One thing to note, while this is downloading, you will not see this tick every percent progress downloaded. Um, it's going to tick in huge chunks. So it'll look like it's not doing anything. And this goes for the actual server install as well. Currently, we're still installing the Steam command information. But the it'll do the same thing. You don't have to do anything here. Just minimize this screen, walk away, come back in 20 minutes or an hour. The server will be completely installed for you. And then we'll just have some configuration set up. Once the server is installed, it'll look like this. And so the server name that we type in is what shows up here under server name. You can change this under edit config. On some games, the server name will translate through to the server you're looking for in the list. In some games, it will not. 
it will be under the con under a configuration file regardless of what this says and that's something that you'll see on each individual game I'll go through the settings for all those things but that's the basics of Windows GSM with and without a plugin if you have a game specific question you can go to the game if I've covered it and we'll see what what we know about that game all right everybody thanks